As social media and online platforms become a larger and larger part of our real lives, we're starting to become very aware of the many implications that the stuff that you put out online can have on your real life, as well as just how much about ourselves we unintentionally put up on the internet. Essentially, your digital footprint. Well, I found a cool app that can help you more or less wipe your digital past. Basically, Redact is a tool that can help you delete your digital footprint from all sorts of services in one place. At the time of recording this video, Redact supports 30 different services with the likes of Discord, Instagram, LinkedIn and more, which you can see up on the screen right now and they've got many more on the roadmap. So you might be wondering, what's the point of going to all the trouble to download Redact and delete stuff? Why not delete stuff manually? So there are some specific use cases that I can think of personally where you wouldn't want to go through and delete your content manually. So first off, you've got when you're deleting stuff from ages ago, it can be a real hassle, especially for services like Instagram, where scrolling up in a conversation, for example, can take ages. Another use case is when you want to delete stuff regularly. Say, for example, if you wanted to delete messages every week, every month, every year, you'd have to go through all your stuff manually and delete it, which can be really time consuming. To solve this issue, Redact has an inbuilt scheduler, which I'll demonstrate later on. Then you've got deleting specific messages. If you want to delete messages that you've sent that, say for example, have a specific word or term in them, then it's pretty unpractical to go through them and look for it yourself. So Redact has a great keyword search feature that I'll be demonstrating today. So now I'm going to demo Redact and as you can see, I'm on the home page, which is what you'll see when you first download and install Redact. A link for that will be in the description. For today, I'll be demonstrating what Redact is like to use on Instagram. More specifically, what it's like for deleting DMs. As I can imagine, that's one of the more popular use cases for Redact. The first thing you'll do is click on whatever service it is you want and then log into it through the external browser tab that it opens up. Now that I'm logged in, I can see up at this top bar over here, the options that I have for deletion, which are deleting posts, DMs, liked posts, as well as followed accounts. One thing to keep in mind, which is probably quite obvious, is that different platforms have different levels of deletion. So on Instagram, I can use Redact to delete all the stuff here, but if we switch to Reddit for example, you can't delete Reddit messages, you can only delete your posts and comments. It's understandable given that by default, different platforms support different degrees of control over your data, but it's still something to be aware of. So now let's move on to actually deleting some stuff and putting Redact into action. Today, I'm going to be deleting some DMs that I've sent to people. When we scroll down here, you can see that we've got the option to pick multiple conversations at once, which already makes it a huge time saver. For today though, I'll be deleting the messages from just one conversation. Now here below, you've got this wide variety of customization for your deletion, which we'll go through. So here's the date range selector, where pretty much you can choose what time period Redact looks through. So say the last day, week, month, year, as well as all time, or you can pick custom start and end dates. For today, we'll be just doing the last day. Then you've got the keyword selector that I was talking about earlier, where pretty much you can input any word or term that you want into Redact to look out for in your messages. So today we'll just put in problematic private info and cancelled. Now at the very bottom, you've got the different options for deletion. The first one is a the preview mode where you can just see what's being deleted and then the delete mode where it just deletes the messages straight up without previewing them. And then you've got the select and delete mode, which is good for finer control as you can select what exactly you'd like to delete. I'll be using this one today. At the end here, you've also got the schedule deletion, which is what I was talking about earlier, where you can schedule the frequency and time of day that you want your messages, posts, whatever to be deleted. So you can set it to run, say, uh, once every two months at 12 in the morning and it'll show you the first execution, second and third executions. So I've chosen the select and delete mode and before I can get to deleting, I've got to check off on this disclaimer which basically tells you to read the terms and conditions as well as letting you know that it's still in beta so they do log some user metrics and error data. So I'm going to check off on that. And now there we go. Redact has pulled up the messages really quickly and now I can choose which ones I want to delete so let's just choose for today, I'll delete cancelled as well as private info. And now once I press delete two items here at the bottom, done, the messages have been deleted. The top one's been deleted, the second one's been deleted and that's all done. Although Redact pulled up those messages really quickly, your mileage may vary as if you've got a year's worth of messages to delete, it will take quite a bit longer. 
Also, some services are a bit slower in deleting your content, but this isn't really a limitation from Redactend. Rather, it's a limitation from the actual service itself, such as Discord, limiting how many things you can do at once. Overall, I really like Redact. It's got a whole bunch of useful features, such as the scheduled deletion, select and delete mode, as well as just the vast variety of services it allows you to wipe content from. It's also got a growing community on Discord, with the dev team interacting with the users regularly, and from what I can tell, they seem to be taking in user feedback really well and implementing it, as there are more and more services added over time and bugs get fixed relatively quickly. The fact that it's completely free is also a really strong point in its favour. However, we've yet to see whether this is just for the beginning, and whether or not they'll switch over to a paid model. Redact does have some potential downsides however, such as the fact that as per the terms of service, it is still in its alpha stage, so that means you do have to bear the risk for what you do with Redact. And one of the potential downsides is also that depending on the service that you're planning on deleting from, and that platform's terms of service, you could end up being banned from that platform. There haven't been any bans to date as a result of Redact, but that's just something to be careful about. Also, whilst this is kind of a given with a service named Redact, you aren't able to restore any data if you do accidentally delete something that you didn't want to. So always make sure to make backups of your data before attempting to use Redact. So there we go, that's Redact, a cool little app to gain more control over what you've put up online. Links to their website will be in the description. Thanks for watching and subscribe for more.